Welcome to the Senate Minute. I'm your host, Jesse Cordray. New to the Senate Minute, the Senate Minute is a short audio brief that includes commentary from members of the Indiana Senate Majority Caucus. In this edition of the Senate Minute, listeners will hear from State Senator Ed Charbonneau. Senator Charbonneau represents Pulaski County, as well as portions of Jasper, LaPorte, Porter, and Stark counties. He resides in Valparaiso. He authored Senate Bill 4 this session, which would address issues regarding Indiana's water supply. Senate Bill 4 recently passed the Senate unanimously. 48 yeas to zero nays. If signed into law, Senate Bill 4 would establish a stormwater management task force to study issues related to stormwater management systems. The task force would have to report their findings to the state by December 1st of 2019. Governor Holcomb would also be required to appoint a water data officer who would oversee the state's water supply. Senator, as I understand it, this is a policy area you are highly passionate about. Why is this issue important to you? The whole issue of water is something that I've been very interested in since I joined the legislature in 2008. I I realize uh, is is very important. Unfortunately, it's an issue that we just, I, I won't say we ignore because we don't pay attention enough to it to ignore it. This is a big bill. I mean, very significant. But this isn't the first time you've worked to address Indiana's water infrastructure. Yeah, I, I just look at this as a first step, um, well, okay, eighth step maybe, because it's the eighth uh, session that, that I've been dealing with it um, in, in, a, in a long journey. Um, in, in all along, we have, uh, again, going back to the data, again, going back to the fact that it's a very emotional issue, um, and everybody feels they have the right to water. Um, and you know, part part of the issue is, yeah, we, we have water, but the water may be over, you know, in southern Indiana or northern Indiana, and how do we get it to where where we need it? How much water does the state of Indiana have? We have no data. We don't really know what we have, how much we have, who's using it, how much they're using, and how long does it take to regenerate the water that, that we're pulling out of the, the aquifers? And when we first started this, I said, we are going to use data to drive every decision that we make. What is the goal of the bill? To ensure uh, that Hoosiers have access to clean, safe, affordable water long into the future. Do you feel like you've made progress in achieving the overall goal of ensuring Hoosiers have access to clean, safe, and affordable water since you began this journey? Well, I, 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 th- I think mainly because it, looking back at where we were eight years ago and where we are today, it's just been an incredible education experience, I think for all of us, uh, me and me included, um, it, it's been very enjoyable. Um, w- when we started out, we, I, I said we were going to use data to drive our decisions, and we were also, because of the fact that, that this is so emotional, and, and, you, and with, with all the competing interests for water, um, that we were going to have everybody at the table that we weren't going to draft legislation and try and jam it down somebody's throat. So we, we have had, in, in, as we've moved through every year, um, everybody at the table. When I say everybody, I mean the environmentalists, the Citizens Action Coalition, the, the Farm Bureau, uh, the builders, the utilities, um, uh, Who's your environmental council? Uh, that, that, that have, I mean, there have been very uh, um, uncomfortable discussions at times, but every year, you know, my, my, my approach is that we're here, this is where we want to get to. And it, it, we, we have that in spades with this group of people that are committed to um, making sure that Indiana. Um, will be uh, a leader in the whole uh, water 
area. Um, I, I, again, it's not me. It's what what they have done. Yeah, that's that's very very impressive. And and every time I start talking about this, I get excited because uh, I. I <clears throat> I guess I, more than anybody, because I've been involved, realize what's happened in eight years, where we have come as a state. So um, it's, it's been fun. Thank you, Senator Charbonneau. Senate Bill 4 will now move to the House of Representatives for further consideration. To learn more about Senate Bill 4, go online to iga.in.gov, click the Legislation tab, and you'll find it under the Senate Bills tab. Thank you for listening. You can subscribe to the Senate Minute on your podcast app or listen at indianasenaterepublicans.com. Click on Media Room and then click the podcast button and listen in. You may also find the Senate Minute on social media when you follow Indiana Senate Republicans on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Indiana Senate GOP or IN Senate Republicans and IN Senate GOP. I'm your host, Jesse Cordray. Have a great week.